Hello guys, this is Info Rockstar, and this is a video on how to use Kickass Torrents www.kickass.to with Frostwire. First you need to download Frostwire, install it. Um, I always choose the recommended settings when installing it and um, know where your downloads are going to go to, what folder they're going to be in. Um, Frostwire runs just like any other uh, BitTorrent client. I just particularly prefer Frostwire over some of the other ones. So, when you're using Kickass Torrents, the website, and you're searching for something to download, always make sure that Frostwire is already open. It makes it a lot easier. So we're on Kickass uh, Torrents, and let's just say I want to search for a movie. Hmm. Let's search for Transformers. Here we go. Now the way to use kickass.to is to be careful which links you click. I never click this link. I always go down and look through here. It's a 2 gigabyte file. That means it's probably a, a pretty good quality file. But I always look for a certain username. The name Yifi whoops, um, always has really dependable videos. Y-I-F-I. -I. He's a user that shares movies and other files. And I don't see his name in here anywhere. So I look over here. We've got 3,489 leeches. 100 and, or uh, 13,244 seeds. This is two weeks ago. There's three files that are that are being shared between all these seeds. So this looks like a pretty dependable file. So I'm going to right click this and open this in a new window. Okay. Now I make sure this is the movie I'm in, interested in, and then I click this link. There's the pop up. I click open with Frostwire. Okay. Now this movie will be Quaid in, in Frostwire and then Frostwire will begin downloading it automatically. See this here? This is the movie. And it is downloading now. Now if we go back home, this is the guy I was telling you about. Always has really um, high quality files to share. So you can click his name and see everything that he's sharing. Oh, it wasn't F-I. It was Y-I-F-Y. Noah. That's supposed to be a really good movie. Let's right-click that one. Well, that's all that I'm interested in. This is the right movie. I recognize uh, um, Russell Crowe from the cover, so I click Download Torrent. The pop-up window will appear, and I'll click Save Again. There we go. And then Frostwire started to download it. I don't keep the files on my computer. Once I downloaded them, if I watch them, I delete them after that, uh, just to save room on my computer. The files could be as big as a little over 2 gigs each for a high-quality movie, so... And they also have other files, games, books, music, and other things like that. So, people that are into, you know, downloading a movie, uh, I recommend using Kick-Ass Torrents to download them. You're, you're downloading bits. Uh, chunks of files are being shared, not the entire movie. That's why it's really hard for you to get in trouble doing it. But, um, it's also especially effective when you're looking for something seriously old that you can't find anywhere. So, people upload their their DVD quality rips, and then they begin to share those. And uh, that's that's one thing that I have found Kickass Torrents to be useful for is downloading movies that I haven't seen in a long time that I really liked. I haven't seen a movie in a long time that I liked that I want to watch twice. That's why I always delete them. Uh, I don't share them. Um, but anyways, that's a quick rundown of how to use it. Like I said, this guy, Y-I-F-Y, -Y, is one of the most popular sharers on Kick-Ass. And he always has really high quality, uh, dependable files. Um, and so, 
I always seem to click his name just to see what new, what else is new and what's up. So, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, let me know. If you have any um, suggestions or tips you'd like to share, put them in the comments because I could have left something important out. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it.